Hey everyone out there, welcome to the Adventure Dad series and I am super glad that you're here. It means you're looking for something different, something more for your kids. I know, um, uh, I think back in the things that I did when I was a kid, it was a different time. There were We got excited about different things than the kids nowadays, especially thanks to the entertainment industry and the video game industry. The bar has really been raised as far as what's really exciting. You know, what's, what's more exciting, playing Uno? or going out and slaying dragons like in Skyrim. I'm the owner of Quest Experiences. I've been producing large-scale themed adventures for the corporate sector, private sector for, uh, see, it's been nearly 20 years now. Hire actors, we build sets, we do really cool stuff, try to reenact a, a time period or maybe a scene from a movie and then allow people to actually go and interact with that adventure. Um, but also, I'm the father of three sons. And over the years, I've tried to take all that fun stuff with my work, bring it home to make and create quality time with my sons. Times that they want to participate in, times they want to bring their friends in with, times that they re they'll remember. My oldest is now 18, and uh, he can still look back on 10 years ago, different things that we did. He and his friends, when they came and visited and participated with our family, um, I remember just before he went off to college, he sat down with a couple of his friends and uh, they would sit around and talk about all the different things that we did, the different adventures that I planned for them. Through this video series, I'm hoping to uh, uh, break down in theme and, and different kind of activity to provide exactly what you need for little snippets at a time so that you're not getting everything all at once. You can get exactly what you need and go and set it up for your family. Start creating those memories. The vast majority of these ideas are going to revolve around getting our kids away from a screen. Now, I love video games, and I'm not saying that video games are wrong, bad. I'm not saying TV's bad. I'm, those things are all fun. But let's face it, especially for some of our sons, they can spend a lot of time staring at a screen. So the activities that I'm, I'm proposing, that the different ideas that I offer are ones that will actually draw our kids away from looking at a screen and instead looking around at their family members, at their friends, laughing face to face, interacting, going out, getting physical. Kids that, um, you know, we, we know what happens when you sit around and you look at a screen all day, you're not really getting the exercise that you need. So that's actually a part of it too, is, is getting, getting our kids moving around, getting them to experience the world around them. My goal is also to make sure that the ideas are accessible, meaning things that you can do around your house with objects you may already have around your house. Some of the ideas, I admit, are going to probably seem way extravagant. They may seem just way, way over the top. But if we're talking about pulling our kids in, um, sometimes we got to go the extra mile. we got to put in that extra work, extra prep time to do something amazing, do something just really exciting, something that they won't be expecting because that really is such a big key is providing something for our kids they're not expecting. You will find a couple times during these videos me referring to different items that we offer through our website. And the links for each of these items are always included down below in the description. Uh, in no way do you have to order these to... Um, utilize the ideas that I'm going to be presenting. I just offer it as a resource so that you have a go-to place because we do get emails saying, hey, where did you get those gems? Where did you get that Egyptian tablet? Things like that. And that way it's always there so I don't have to use up uh, video time to be talking about what it is that I'm actually maybe holding up as an example as I'm explaining an idea. Well, everyone out there, I, I'm looking forward to meeting you if you have anything to uh, questions to ask. Um, suggestions, um, please let me know. would love to hear from you all and uh, we hope that you'll sub subscribe so that you can uh, keep up with the videos as they are being produced. I plan on really rapidly cranking these out. Take care out there. Remember two things, really important. Number one, your kids do want to spend time with you. Yes, I'm including the tweens and the teens. And number two, you're still the coolest person in your child's life. Take care. Bye-bye.